My name's Lucas and four years ago, I started an auto detailing business and now I rank number one on Google organically and in the Google My Business section. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do both those two things for your detailing business in this video. Um, one thing for sure is I sprinkle a lot of like tidbit information throughout the whole video. Uh, feel free to skip around, but you might miss a little uh, life hack along the way. So I uh, highly would recommend getting a little notepad, uh, maybe a pen, favorite pen, and uh, take some notes on our journey. So I'm going to show you exactly how um, all of this works, and it's going to be awesome. First of all, we are going to start with some of the uh, Google business listing hacks. So how to rank uh, really high in the Google business listing section. So if we, again, if we go back to North Van Detailing, uh, we can see rank number one there, rank number one here. Okay, so I'm signed in to my business uh, account in the top right here. And you can see that my business is on Google. I can see all my stats. Uh, 537 customer interactions. So if we just click this, we can get a nice overview of what the heck is going on. So this is September 2023 to February 2024. And we have 537 profile interactions. Now, what are interactions, you're probably wondering? These are calls, messages, uh, bookings, directions, basically any button people are pressing on your thing other than reviews. Uh, and we can just see breakdown by the months, obviously November and December, they were like very wet, uh, not a lot of people asking for services. But if we go to something more, uh, we can't even go further back than that, which is unfortunate. But this is the bulk statistics. So 5,197 people viewed this business profile, just viewed it. So this is just, they're scrolling past or whatever. 3,600 are from Google search, 71% of this traffic. That's crazy. You know how much leads you can get with that? And they're just free. I'm not paying for ads. I'm not, I'm not doing any, any fancy stuff here, folks. This is just SEO, very simple. I'm going to show you how to do all of it. Um, this is mobile. Optimize your site for mobile people. If you haven't already, um, I'll show you my site and everything. I use Squarespace. Uh, it's just really simple. But yeah, some desktop searches there. Google search again. Google Maps, 187. So if they're searching on Google Maps and then mobile as well. And then these are the specific keywords. So car detailing North Vancouver. Again, if someone's looking for uh, North Vancouver detailing services, they'll put North ahead of it. So that's this is definitely a keyword that uh, we're gonna be targeting. And I'll show you how to do that custom to your area. Uh, car wash near me, very simple. North Vancouver, car detailing, auto detailing North Vancouver. You can see the search results. So that's everything on this page. Go to calls, absolutely zip, because guess what? Uh, I'm actually in Victoria at the moment, and I uh, I do marketing for detailing shops. So there'll be a link. I'm not gonna like preach too much about that, um, but there'll be a link in the description if you wanna check out what I do there. I only work with shops, so if you're a mobile guy, sorry, but lots of free info on the channel. Um, so yeah, I wasn't actually operating uh, for these months here, I, I live in Victoria currently, which is just a hop and a skip across the water, but I'm not gonna be coming back till, till the weather gets nicer. Um, so this is sec uh, blank. If we go to messages, because my phone number was not linked to it, I was getting a lot more uh, business messages. And you're probably wondering like, okay, what do I do with these people? I feed them to my competitors in the area. My competitors love me. I wouldn't even call them competitors at this point because I get so much organic traffic from the uh, my SEO stuff that when I'm operating, I don't need to fight over people. So I kind of divvy up the leads. Um, maybe I make a little small commission uh, depending on who I get the leads to and our relationship, but it's a good time. Um, one sneaky tip, if you're skipping through the video, you might not catch this, but um, message response rate. Every single time you get a Google business listing message, open your phone, I don't care what you're doing, could be eating dinner at the table with your family, 
open your phone and re immediately, immediately respond to the listing. Obviously I was lacking. This response time is not the greatest. You could do better. I could do better for sure. Uh, but having not operating this business on like a regular basis, this is pretty decent and I'm not even working. So yeah, keep this high because Google likes when you respond and interact with their products. And if someone is interacting with their products and you're the reason why they're getting a bad impression of the product, bad. Google does not like you for that. So make sure you're responding. Uh, bookings, I don't do Google business profile bookings, uh, but this is the juice. This is the sauce, everything you want to the website. And we'll go into the website after. Um, but yeah, this is just the stats for these months. You can see uh, January starting to get up. Uh, it's February, what is it, the 14th now? So we're about half halfway through-ish. Uh, so we're on track for maybe 100, probably more if the weather gets nice. So this is how to rank number one right here. First thing, very important, is your business name. You might be stumbling across this video and it might be too late. You've already decided on your business name. Maybe you're working for a while. Um, for me personally, I had some knowledge of SEO prior to starting my business. So business name, North Van Detailing was strategic. Uh, again, like I said before, North Vancouver is the area that I operated in. So North Van is kind of like an abbreviation keyword. I'm sure uh, wherever you're from and wherever your business operates, there's probably a like a, a shortened version of your of your place. Like if you're if you live in Los Angeles and that's where your detailing business is, you might do LA because some people don't like to type out the whole thing when you're uh, when they're searching around for stuff. So although this could work if you don't have like a location based business name, I'm not planning on franchising. This is just I was just doing this to get through school here, um, get some extra cash. Um, but yeah, business name was really important. Uh, again, if you have the website as well, if you have a website, strongly recommend having a website, keep it the same name. So in this case, for me, it's northvandetailing.ca. I'm in Canada.ca. If you're in the US, .com. Simple as that. Business category, car detailing service. Nothing else there. There's different stuff like auto repair shop, car detailing service. Want to make sure you categorize correctly. Um, next, we have the description. So the description is one of the most important things when you are doing the Google listing. If you want to rank number one, description, very important. So this whole description here, if you wanted to straight copy this, like copy it, input your information, and then put it on there, no problem with that. I'll actually leave it in the uh, description below. You can just straight copy it, replace the business name with your thing. Um, but it says North Van Detailing is a mobile auto detailing business located in North Vancouver, BC. So I have my keyword, North Van Detailing, mobile auto detailing business. So I have auto like detailing twice in there, located in North Vancouver, specialized and providing top quality auto detailing services to my clients. Um, I'm an experienced professional that is dedicated to ensuring your car looks and feels its best. I have a range of services and then I just spam my service, um, all my services. So if they're looking for something, they type in like North Van Detailing or North Vancouver Detailing, car detailing, car wash, upholstery cleaning, ceramic coating, something like that. Um, it'll trigger that keyword. It'll just give it a little poke. And then I do a little return. My mobile service allows me to come to you, provide my services at your convenience. I only use the best products and blah, 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 blah. This will be in the description. Uh, basically the whole objective of this, basically the whole objective of this uh, description here is to cram as many keywords as humanly possible while still sounding like a real person. Uh, one little technique I like to do um, one little trick I like to do when I kind of do this stuff is I read it back to myself out loud after I type it. And if it sounds like how I talk, 
then I know that Google will like the uh, the words basically because uh, Google scans everything. They have a bunch of automations and stuff. If you just type in North Vancouver detailing ceramic coating a hundred times in this section, it won't work. Google will pick it up and they'll be like, you're an idiot. Okay, sounds good. Um, this is completely wrong. I don't know why it says 2022. Um, I don't want to change it because I don't want to mess with anything. But uh, this doesn't really matter. Just put it whenever you did it. Uh, add your phone number here. Add your website. Um, I guess this is new. I haven't done this. You can add your Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, if you use those platforms right here. Uh, business location. Now, this is another really important thing for you to show up in a certain area only. Uh, in this case, like I, I've seen mobile detailers and they put their home address as their business address here or business location. You do not want to have that. I know other detailers in my area that did this and they've had people knock on their home door and their mom has answered. Not good for business. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck is this lady? Sorry. They're like, what the heck is this lady answering the door for? Um, uh, yeah, it's just not a good look. So I put no location delivers. I put no location deliveries and home services only. This is what you want. So you can have this service area section will pop up. Um, I usually do specific areas. So just really quick, I'm going to open a map of North Vancouver. And we can see see the vibe. So Google defines North Vancouver as this square thing right here. Okay. North Vancouver. But if I zoom out and I get rid of this, and I'll make my face smaller because it's massive at the moment. <laughs> I don't know why there's Starbucks popping up in the maps. That's crazy. Um, North Vancouver, all the areas that I want to target are going to be a little larger than the like sub areas within the cities. Okay. So one trick to do this is you scroll out on the map until these little ones disappear. Like you see this one says upper Lonsdale. You're going to scroll out until they don't appear. Like you see how it's just the main areas. So I have Lynn Creek here, Deep Cove, North Vancouver, Pemberton Heights, West Vancouver, West Bay, Caulfield, Eagle Harbor. I would probably cut it off there. I have gone up here, but like no one's no one's no one's living over there. It's just like a couple people have done boats and things like that. Um, but yeah, just on this on this North Shore here, all the areas that have the little gray names. So you can for an example. If I go over here, maybe let's just go to somewhere random. Let's go in Seattle, for example. So there's lots of things in Seattle here. You can see there's a whole bunch of different ones. If I keep scrolling out, keep scrolling out, keep scrolling out. Boom. These are the main ones. So we have Mill Creek, Linwood, Edmonds, uh, Mount Lake Terrace, Shoreline. I thought I said brothel for a second. Sorry if you live there. That's brutal. Um, obviously it doesn't, but still, uh, yeah, you just put all the little, all these little places and it's a simple guy. So again, we have North Vancouver, West Vancouver, Vancouver, BC, Burnaby, uh, North Vancouver again, Lynn Creek. Sometimes you can put postal codes in there. Uh, I like postal codes cause I can hit like subcategories within the area. They're super rich areas. Like if I go over to deep cove, you can get a feel for what the people are like just rich people near the water kayaking like just i don't know like the houses are nice there's lots of lots of like see like come on come on come on you're telling me they don't have a like a ferrari in the garage they probably don't it's probably like a benz instead more classy people going on hikes and whatnot um but yeah so you just put, put all those areas in there and you should be fine oh hours hours of operations if i asked you hey when uh when would you like to make money if i just asked you that what hours of the day would you like to make money 
let me just let me just make this clear. I'll make this bigger. What hours of the day would you like to make money? Me personally, I like to make money 24 hours of the day. I don't know if that's just a me thing. It's probably a you, a you thing too. I set my business to open 24 hours a day. Every day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This means that if someone types in on Google, I'll even do it right now, just as an example. If I type in North Vancouver Auto Detailing, of course I'm popping up number one. See this guy, Dixon Detailing. Uh, this is actually my boy. So if you're watching this, you gotta change this. And I'm sorry if that's uh, if I'm dissing you here, but you see how he has 54 reviews and they're all five star. I only have 35 and I'm showing up above you. I'm sorry. It's just, I can't, I, I don't know what to tell you, uh, but it says closes soon. You know why I'm showing up above you? Because you close soon. I'm open 24 hours a day. It's not like, like, because we're a mobile business, even if you're a shop, okay, maybe if you're a shop, if you have a physical location, I understand. I know for a fact, this guy's mobile. If you are closing at 8 p.m., Google is going to push your listing down. Like, look, I'll go to more businesses. Close, 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 close. Everybody's closed. This guy knows what's up, but he only has seven reviews. And his, and his listing is bad. Like, look at this. This is his, this is his thing. Like, I'm sorry if you, if you're seeing this man, um, but this is just how it is. Open 24 hours a day and I'm taking all your business. People call me. I pick up the phone. I don't care what time it is. If you want to boost your listing and be number one on Google and make the most money in your area, 24 hours a day, someone calls you, pick up the phone. Someone calls you, hi, I want to. $2,000 ceramic coating and you're going to come do it in my garage. Are you just going to like, Oh, Oh, I just ate dinner and uh dessert is uh in the freezer. I can't pick up the phone. I'm going to go eat my ice cream. Buddy, $2,000 is on your phone. Like, okay. 24 hours a day, every day you are taking calls. That is what it means. Okay. Very simple. Never add special hours for nothing. Holidays, nothing. Christmas morning, someone could call me. Hi, I spilled four bottles of wine in the back seat of my car. It's Christmas morning. Can you come and uh, deal with this? Of course. It's going to be times five the rate because it's Christmas morning and you spilled five bottles of red wine in your car. So you understand. But no special hours, always open. Okay. Um, people can't knock on your door to come into your place. So you're booking an appointment anyways, if they call you and obviously, Oh, we're booked for, you know, you know, awesome. Add more hours. Doesn't matter. Or like any of this stuff, you can do that if you want. Personally, I just like this. It works uh, from the business. Don't have anything crowd. Don't have anything planning. Nope. Or appointment required. Okay. Yeah. You will need to add this appointment required. Um, but yeah, that's the very basic information there. If we click on more, there's absolutely nothing. So that is just the that part of the Google listing, okay? Um, next up, we're gonna go over to the products section. So I have very simple, uh, very simple services. So I have basic interior, premium interior, basic exterior, premium exterior and ceramic coating. I have more services. We'll check out the site in a second, but this is just what I have on the Google listing. If you click these, it just has a brief description with a website, visit site, every single one, blah, 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 visit site. Okay. Um, and yeah, so that's the products. You can add as many stuff as you want. I would always recommend adding a picture with these showing whatever the service is for the service. So if it's an interior service, picture of an interior. I like to add in a little, a little gift cards and stuff, or not gift cards, but business cards, a little microfiber for them. Um, and yeah, that's my description before. Okay, next section of the Google business listing, uh, where we will be finishing this up pretty soon, but 
this is going to be the updates section. So you can add these whenever you want. Uh, if you have a fresh Google business listing with no updates, I'm just gonna click view all updates here, a little update tab. Um, this section, you, you just want to fill up pretty quick just to get a nice base going. So Google can scan it and start ranking your listing right away. But I would say maybe once, twice a month, you just add one of these into your uh, Google business profile. And it's very easy. All you have to do is add a picture and then add a brief description with whatever the picture is and a call to action with some keywords in there. So you want to protect your paint for, sorry. So in this case, we have a Tesla, got the foam cannon going, kind of an action shot. And it says, do you want to protect your car's paint from environmental damage? Our ceramic coating service provides long lasting protection for your car's exterior. Ceramic coating creates a durable hydrophobic layer that repels dirt, water, and UV rays. Book an appointment with us to learn more. And then it says learn more and it goes to the new tab and then it goes to the services page. Um, next up, another post example. Uh, this was a uh, polishing service. So picture of the polishing service. You want your car to shine like new. Our exterior detailing service includes hand washing, waxing, and polishing to remove dirt, grime, and scratches. I only use the best products to ensure your car looks its best. Contact us today to schedule an appointment. So just little updates. Uh, people will be able to see these uh, pictures in your picture section. And like, for example, if I click photos, um, also photos, upload a bunch of your own photos. Sometimes customers will just add their own photos and say, for example, you got a bad review. Uh, you want good photos on there. So it looks professional. Me personally, I did these little, like this was when I was right getting started. But I did these little uh, little outline things just with Canva. Just stuck my logo in there. Really simple, uh, really simple stuff. And then I got more into like just the pictures because I got lazy. This one's really nice though. This is the main one I use on my uh, on my uh, Google business listing and my website. It just looks sick. Little BMW with a little beep boop 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 boop. No little card everything's color coded um and yeah like some people have their own photos they submit uh the reviews are awesome uh services people like click their own services those aren't the ones i did but uh all my responses are awesome like all my reviews are awesome uh one tip for reviews is if i did a good job on someone's car and i know that i did a good job and they like the service I always ask them for a review. Um, and I'm always like, oh, hey, thank you so much. Um, thanks for the e-transfer, e-transfer received. Uh, if you wanna leave a Google review for me, here's the link. It would really help me out uh, and grow my business. Cheese, cheese, take the picture because I'm smiling for this Google review. Give it to me. Grow your business, Google review, simple. If you don't have any reviews, no one's gonna do it. It's a pain in the ass. Not gonna lie, I tried not very hard, but for two weeks before the winter time, I tried detailing in Victoria and it was because I didn't have any Google reviews. Um, and it was just really difficult in this atmosphere over here. And I only had two weeks, so it wasn't uh wasn't the best. My storage, <laughs> I just put all my stuff away uh in North Van because it was getting really cold and I didn't want my hoses to freeze or my pressure washer to break. So it is sitting in my basement, but that is how you rank number one with the listing. Just get farm Google reviews, dial in your profile. Like I just told you how to do, um, i gonna put this in the description of the video. You can just copy paste it. This is exactly what I did to rank number one. Boom. Um, let's move on to the website. Okay. This video got kind of long. And if you want to rank number one on your detailing website as well, uh, the card will be at the very top of the screen. Uh, I made a whole separate video on that. It was one take, so it'll be referring back to this video at times, but, um, yeah, I just thought I'd make a separate video just in case, uh, you wanted to split it up a little bit. 
Uh, that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Uh, if you are a shop and you sell either PPF or ceramic, I have a link below. And if you want to work personally with me to do your lead generation and all the marketing jazz that comes along with that, uh, click the link below and we can definitely uh, help you out. See you in the next video. Take care.